heading into South America. Hide my camera. See that yellow line there? Oh, I'm back in the north. I'm back in the south. Oh, I see Pringles. Let's see if they're kosher. After years of traveling around the world, non-stop traveling. I'm good, thank you. Good evening here from Bogota. I'm heading out to Quito, spelled Q-U-I-T-O, which is the capital of Ecuador. And it's actually the border between the northern and southern hemisphere, literally on the equator. And this will be my first time heading in to South America. Tonight I'm flying with Latam Airways, which is a Chilean airline. I bet you haven't heard of it before. Bye bye, Colombia. Bye bye. This is the first country I've been to in the past week where I can't use my regular SIM. I just bought a SIM, it cost me $20 and I'm only here for a day. It's costing more than my hotel tonight. This is actually a really cute, sweet idea, having a gift shop selling balloons and flowers by arrivals. If your relative or one of your loved ones come, you can give them some flowers and balloons, you don't need to schlep it along. Okay, so this hotel cost me $20 a night. Nope, it's not a Ritz Charlton, it's not a Kapinski. But yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Good morning from Quito the second highest city in the world at over 2,800 meters. Yeah, the air is very, very thin here. Just going to the cash machine to get some cash to pay my hotel. I didn't have any cash last night, but very kindly, he let me stay without paying. And I told him I'll pay him in the morning. I was just advised by a local to uh, hide my camera and hide my phone. I mean, I didn't do any research on this place, whether it's safe or not, but I will be vigilant now. After hearing that, I mean, I've seen the police here as well. Wearing bulletproof vests, big guns and stuff, so yeah, could be it's quite unsafe. What Quito is very famous for is that it's one of the oldest preserved colonial cities with authentic, original Spanish architecture. I mean, looking around at the buildings, they look in perfect condition, but they're from hundreds of years ago, the design. Just paying the hotel, and then we're gonna go off and tour Quito. I've just arrived at the equator of the world and you would think it would be very very hot here because the equator is only 15 degrees and the reason is is because this is the second to highest city in the world at 2,800 meters above sea level in perspective in England the highest point is only 1,300 meters it's only appropriate at such a landmark to have directions to the rest of the world just an interesting thought, a lot of South American countries have loads of graffiti all over. What do you think about it? Do you think it makes the city look not nice? Do you think it adds to the city? What's your personal opinion? Write in the comments. I personally think if it's done nicely, if it's nice street art, it adds a really, really nice atmosphere to the place. One thing I'm noticing straight away being here in Ecuador, that because we're on the equator, the UV, the sun is extremely strong and I literally have to wear sunglasses, otherwise my eyes are tearing away. So to enter the park, it only costs five dollars, which I think is quite a good price to see such a cool place. And here it is, you can see that yellow line there? That marks the equator of the world, one of the only places you can actually visit the equator. Because the gravity by the equator goes exactly straight, you can balance an egg on a little nail. I'm going to try it now. <laughs> As I'm speaking to you now, I'm in North America. And wait a second, I'm just gone to the south. Oh, I'm back in the north, and I'm back in the south. Another interesting fact over here, at midday, you will not see your shadow because the sun is going to be directly above your head. If you're that clumsy guy who can't really keep his balance, this would be a good place where the gravity is zero. So yeah, you're not falling over here too easily. It's definitely an interesting place to visit, the equator, but I wouldn't say you should travel across the world to see it. All it is is sort of a yellow line. If you're anywhere nearby, I would recommend come and see it, but otherwise, it's not that exciting. Well, I'm out of breath from climbing these stairs. You get to see a bird's eye view of the equator. This is sort of a history museum of Ecuador. I love their clothes. This Purim, I'm dressing up as an Ecuadorian. I've 
literally crossed into North and South America like a hundred times today. Ecuador is most famously known for their chocolate. They're offering me some samples, but I don't think it's Cadassia, so we're going to move on. You've all noticed that when water goes down your sink or your bathtub, it swirls in a direction. And that direction depends whether you're in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere. So over here, on one side it goes that way, and the other side it goes the other way. Okay, I think I've seen everything to make my $5 worth it. Interesting place, and now let's move on to mainland Quito and see what's there. Just gone out of the main tourist attraction to get some souvenirs and of course it's a tenth of the price and I've done some haggling. Hi, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's your name? Uh, Steven. You work here every day? Yeah. On the equator? On the day, yeah. Uh, here. Do you have a bottle opener? I'm not sure what it is but everyone here supports Manchester City. Who do you support? Manchester? Manchester City. Ah, oh, no good. But Antonio Valencia from Ecuador yeah. in Manchester United. C, loads of C's. Next stop for today, I'm taking a cable car up the Teleferico. And from there, it's a great view of the whole of Quito. I'm not exactly sure the situation in Ecuador, but there isn't a lot of tourists. The main tourist attraction, the equator, pretty empty. And here by the Teleferico, also pretty empty. You can see no one's here. I'm, I'm happy, I've got the place for myself. Heading up on the cable car, got the whole cabin for myself. And the higher we get, the view is starting to get insane. From the view on top here, you can see 10 different volcanoes. It's not clear enough today to see it, but it is somewhere behind there. I think this is the original Ecuadorian instrument. Um, like the tribe used to play and stuff. It does sound quite nice. Do that again. <whistles> this is from Ecuador originally? Yeah. Wow, very cool. I love it. I love the sound. The official name for that instrument is a silvato. I bought a small little one for my brother as a souvenir. At the top here, I am 4,100 meters above sea level. An amazing panoramic 365 degree view of many different volcanoes and the whole of Quito. It's been really beautiful and relaxing up here. Um, I messaged Chabad this morning if they have a kosher restaurant. Unfortunately, they don't. But then I called them up and they said, there's a shop where I can get some kosher food. So it's two in the afternoon and I'm gonna head out to try and find some kosher food. One of the funniest toilets I've ever seen. So it's free to go inside. If you want the glamorous bonus, the luxury of some toilet paper, you have to buy it from this little machine outside. Hilarious. Always when you can take Uber, it's a lot more safe, um, much harder for them to scam you. Um, I had a guy before telling me that, yeah, Uber can't come here, it's prohibited. It's talking complete nonsense. Here I am in my Uber. It's not a Rolls Royce, but it'll do. So Chabad told me they only do Shabbos meals. So I'm here by the shopping centre where apparently I can find some kosher food. Chabad told me the shopping centre, they didn't tell me exactly which shop, but we found it. Baruch Hashem, we're not going to go hungry. So the bread is great, however, all the meat and chicken is frozen and uncooked, so it's not going to help me too much. I'm searching for anything with any kind of hash on it, but I haven't found yet. Oh, I see Pringles. Let's see if they're kosher. Okay, this is what we have for lunch and sub tonight. Two boxes of Pringles and a loaf of bread, so we're going to make like a Pringle sandwich. All right, we'll see how it is. Yeah, this is the reality of traveling. I'm sitting here with Pringles and a loaf of bread. One of my final stops here in Ecuador, we are by La Muristical Artistica Market, which is a market got to do with art or something. Very, very cute place. I think the problem is, because it's a bit of a tourist attraction, I want to charge some expensive money here. Whenever you come to a market, never buy in the first shop. Always look around, compare, and then come back. I've been to like 10 souvenir shops, and none has snow globes. Let's keep looking. No, nah, I want the globe. Huh? What's the best price you can do it for me? After years of traveling around the world, I thought I was quite good at negotiating. Over here, they do not budge on the price. I was like, using every single tactic, and no, no. And it's like crazy expensive, $10 for a snow globe in a third world country like this. Nah, not okay. Okay, okay, so from $12, the other shop won't budget 10. Here at least I got it for nine. We've got, we got our snow globe finally. Very interesting here because normally in the markets, what happens is, is one shop sells it for this price, the other guy can sell it for half the price. Over here, everyone sells everything for the exact same price. So you can't really negotiate. Being very open and honest, I'm absolutely shattered. It's been an entire week of non-stop traveling. I'm good, thank you. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't have uh, kochas, don't have energy for this market. 
there's only one famous person that I know from Ecuador and that's Antonio Valencia who used to play for Manchester United now his physique was absolutely second to none and it makes a lot of sense that he was such a strong player um, and such a fast player because if he was training as a kid very high up which Ecuador is very high up um, it's a lot easier for him when he came to England and that's why he could play so well just come back to the hotel to pick up my stuff I've changed into more comfortable clothes because I am flying through the night and tomorrow I'm getting into Washington and Shabbos I'm in Baltimore. Just got to the airport, probably the earliest time I've arrived for a flight, four hours before. Uh, yeah, just so tired, I just want to go to the lounge and relax. When you come that early, check is not even open. I've got many different stamps in my passport from around the world, but I think the coolest one has to be Ecuador, hot pink stamp. So that brings the end of my trip to Quito. Um, I'm in the lounge here, waiting for my flight. I showered, I shaved, feeling ready for a 12 hours of flying now. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Bye for now.